Next we have Australia. And shout out to Jana's Stan channel and Rye Bailey for suggesting Australia. Number one, you know, I need to shave my hair again, but I'm scared because I've dyed it now and then I've got the regrowth. And then I'm gonna shave it again and what's it gonna look like? I don't know. All right, it's not about my hair, but I'm loving the look. I'm loving women with shaved heads. I love it. Right, the Sydney-based artist has become an important figure on the Aussie indie scene. Oh, Receiving widespread praise for her work, including an ARIA award, uh, ARIA award for the best breakthrough artist and nomination for best female artist in 2016. Lovely, natural storyteller, entertainer, Montaigne. Oh God, I love her look. Love it. Oh. This is at a stadium. Cranberries vibe with that vocal delivery. Oh, 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 strong. I just got like image of tank girl <laughs> in my head. Okay, got a hey in there. I love futuristic stuff. So many like little sort of reference points I'm getting. Like by the end of it, I was thinking about Grimes, you know. So, so she seems to be very kind of futuristic sort of artist, and I love that. I love the future. I love dystopian future stuff. What can I say? What can I say? I'm still <laughs> my brain. My brain is still processing everything. All these flashes of like um, reference points, you know, Tank Girl, Fifth Element. Um, Cranberry's vocals, Grimes' um, futuristic kind of odd way about her, and um, and I love all of that encompassed into Montaigne. 
this this very unique artist you know um i think yeah the song how will it go down i you know, quite like the different elements of the song how would i listen to it it's not like an easy listen like it's not a very obvious song you know what i mean like it does one thing and then it stops and has the hey and a, you know the sort of talky part to it which on first listen you're like oh, oh i thought it was doing this and now we're doing that um, but I think on more listens, it will actually be one of those songs that you can really sing along to um, in a bad way, do you know what I mean? Not, not, not that it's a bad thing to sing along to a song, I'm saying like your voice will sound really bad in that my voice will sound really bad trying to sing along to this but I would enjoy doing all the different parts to the song, does that make sense, you know? Going oh, and yes, hey and doing that Sporty Spice kick. <laughs> Sporty Spice did not invent the kick, okay? But, you know, that's another reference point that just went straight through my head as I saw that. Anyway, look, that was a really enjoyable performance. A very interesting artist. It's gonna be super interesting. I'm wondering how it's gonna be staged or how it's going to look, given the fact if it, you know, I saw the headline, I didn't click through the article, but it seemed as if she cannot travel um, to participate. So she'll be participating at home. Um, so what that would mean for the competition or what that would mean for the look and style of her performance, who knows. So yeah, so that's amazing. So well done to Montaigne, well done to Australia, super interesting song. I'm wondering if people will latch on to that um, and, and really get it um, from the get-go, which is what I think is important for people who are voting at home. Um, that sort of instant connection. I wonder if people will instantly connect with it and then vote for it. Who knows, but I certainly enjoyed that performance. So well done, well done.